Welcome to part three, plugins. We'll be installing Transmission, Mini DL DLNA, and also Firefly. And let's see. We'll want to begin this with services. Scroll down to plugins, management, settings. But before that, we'll actually want to download the plugins. So you can just go to sourceforge.net, projects, freenas, Browse all files, 831, release P2, 64 bit. You'll want to make sure to click the right architecture because these plugins are written just for that architecture. So you'll want to do the plugins jail PBI, the Firefly PBI, the MIDI DLNA PBI, and finally the transmission PBI. So once you download that, you can go back to the web console and go in the left column, services, plugins, settings, and click OK. The jails path, oh yeah, we gotta create that. So on the main storage, we'll create a data set, uh, plugins, jail, spell jail right, and a data set. And we're actually just going to use the common folder for the actual plugin storage. Click OK. Plugins jail path. We'll do storage, plugins jail. Jail name. This is just a normal folder. folder. And easy enough. IP address. This is a new IP address on your network. The same network, though. So let's do 245. Subnet mask 24. Archive path, we'll just put that in common. Oops. Did I not click that? Common. Oh, whoops. Must uh, click that twice. Plugin jail. Two different folders. There we go. Upload the PBI. and upload that. Takes a little bit. So once that's installed, we should have that started. Let's start that. So yay, that's all started. Nice and configured. So services, plugins, we'll actually install the plugin. Let's go install transmission. And we'll actually set a mount point before that. At a mount point, browse, storage, common, actually download, sorry, and browse. And we haven't created that folder yet. So we wanted to do transmission first so we can set permissions on the new folder. So and we started the plugin service so we can do this. Uh, a JLS, then JEXEC one for the JIED. And if you restart the plugin service, the JID will will change um, when you restart it. So TCSH, click OK. Then we'll do NKDIR user downloads. Then we'll do chown 1002. That's my Kevin user user ID because it's the second user ID. 1001 is admin. Then we'll do transmission user downloads. And chmod 775 on user downloads. Oops. Ch. I'm not sure why it's typing the tilde. C age mod. There we go. Make sure the it accepted the changes. And it looks like it did. So we'll do C downloads. Exit. Exit. We'll add a mount point. The source. So this is like the outside source. Commons downloads. User downloads. Okay. So this just helps the outside over here, X 
access the inside. So this could be a share, for instance, if we set up torrent. So next we'll do transmission, browse, user, download. And we'll just use the same exact file uh, for the downloads directory. So you can place .torrent files in the same watch directory, and obviously you'd want to set up permissions. And this is just for everyone. Everyone can do everything. And user, downloads, and there's that transmission log, just for a log file in case you want to see it. And in another video, I've seen the person able to do anonymous access, but I wasn't able to get that to work. So we'll just do Kevin and password. So Kevin and password, and then let's uh, require encryption. Click OK. Then go back to services and start transmission. So transmission port is 9091, and we set this on 245, I believe. So we can just type colon 9091. Then the username is Kevin. Password is password. And this is the transmission interface. As I mentioned before, you can plant a or put a .torrent file in the watch directory or you can just click this folder and upload a torrent file or you can do it by URL which is fantastic. Next we'll set up uh, Firefly. So back over here, install plugin, browse, Firefly, upload. So that's installed. We can go Firefly, admin password, we'll just do password again, mp3 directory, user, Downloads. Now, we uh, there's a guide online for this, but just aggressive is fine. I actually just manually scan it and click OK and start that service up. Let's see if we can access it. I always forget the uh, IPs for all these, so, or the port number. And it's that same 245 port. The username is admin and the password is password. As you can see, there are no files here, so I'm zero. So let's go here and bring this on over. If you, we can't write in the downloads directory because we're, oh, I guess we can. Must have not set that up correctly. But, anyways, you might need to change permissions on that. So let me just paste in a track, start a scan. As you can see, it's detected one song right here, and it will show up on iTunes, but occasionally it doesn't. I really don't use Firefly, but it's good for your own personal media streaming, music media streaming server. But actually, we'll do a mini DLNA setup real quick. Now that's set up, we'll do over here again, mini DLNA, friendly name, YouTube, DLNA, media directory, user, downloads, it's 8200, and we'll do a rescan on restart. So whenever you restart DLNA, it'll restart. And as you can see, the second interval is very high. So what I do if I add new media files, I just restart the service from the web GUI. So we can just click OK, or click on, go over here, and it detects one audio file. So you can actually do this in Windows Explorer. As you can see, it'll detect media server, then music, all music, and look at that track, it shows up. You can also use Windows Media Player, YouTube DLNA, Music, All Music, and there we are. Hey, what do you know? You can also place movies, TV shows, or whatever you have if you've ripped it from a disc that you own. And you can just stream this to PS3, Xbox, other computers, or what have you. So we can also access that if needed.
from the actual the actual SIFS share. Common downloads. Hey, what do you know? I mean, obviously I placed that there, but we can check the transmission log or just check all the media files. So you can have your family or your company drop media files in here, or documents, and maybe stream a webcast to the whole company or what have you. So uh, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun streaming.